Look, I know you want to make a crazy bag and now is the time to do so. The markets are down. Time to get your bag up and maybe hop yourself in a brand new Bugatti. I just bought a fucking Bugatti. All you need is this, an iPhone, Android, whatever you can use to hop on social media. This is what's going to get you rich. A hundred million enough. In my opinion, social media could be used in one of two ways. And this could be either social media marketing for yourself or social media marketing for a company. Marketing for yourself, yeah, you're going to make a crazy bag, but at the same time, you're going to be giving up a lot of freedom. When you're running a company, it's something that takes a lot of time. As opposed to running for a business, you're probably more so on a schedule. And on top of that, there are pros and cons to both. I'm not going to be getting into all of them, but this is one of the best methods to be making an insane amount of money. And you could start whenever. All you need is one of these. Social media can make anyone a potential millionaire. It is so much easier, especially in today's society than it was maybe 10 or 15 years ago. To get something in front of the eyes of about a million people in 1990 was nearly impossible. But now any 15 year old kid with an iPhone could hop on TikTok and get a million views. Social media is one of the most valuable resources to advertisers. And on top of that, it's a very good networking tool. If you build up a brand behind yourself of people who want to resonate with you, it's way more likely that you'll be able to get in contact with some of these higher up figures. And this goes into the phrase, your network is your net worth. If I'm tapped in with people like Elon Musk, that contact is way more valuable than Jimmy across the street. And getting into contact with these people all revolves around you as a person establishing yourself as a brand. And you could do what I did when I was starting to grow a lot of my social media is that is a tiered system. So I would hit up people who are the same following range as me, get into contact with them, sort of network there, and then sort of make my way up the ladder. And this is definitely the play. Networking is essential to making a crazy amount of money. Just having the right connection can make you very rich. All it takes is that one right connection to land you that job that you want. Next, what I do want to touch on is being an investor, especially Dogecoin. To the moon! This is something that you could start right this second. Hop on Google, learn as much as you can. Hop on YouTube, learn as much as you can. Essentially, be a sponge. Investing is almost in the same category as gambling, but if done right, you could be making a crazy amount of money. I have friends who have made tons of money. I myself have made about 400,000 from different investments that I've made over the past year and a half, especially in different sectors. What you gotta learn is you gotta learn trends. Oh, hell no. <laughs> The best thing you could do for investing is keeping your ear to the ground, understand what is going on, whether that be in NFTs, crypto stocks, take advantage of any potential opportunity. For example, earlier this week, Kanye was being kind of crazy on TikTok and Instagram, going on some weird, crazy rants, and he could have used that as a potential opportunity to short all the investments, knowing that he would potentially get canceled for what he's saying. Keeping your ear to the market and understanding what is going on is going to be essential when trading. And as for potential investments that you could make, yes, I could sit here and tell you Bitcoin, Ethereum, and hop into the S&P 500 and all of these other more safe investments. But at the same time, those safer investments are more going to be long-term things. If you're trying to make money and have like income, you have to keep your ear to the street. And you got to understand that if you are investing, you're going to have a very high chance of losing money. You need the mental toughness of Fort Knox when you're hopping into different investments, especially if you're hopping in crazy 30, 40, 50 X leverage trades, like a degenerate gambler. There's this analogy that I heard the other day, and it goes like this. When food goes up in price, everyone cries but when food goes down in price, everyone sings. So essentially, instead of that food being food, think of that food as the market or the economy or the stocks or the crypto or whatever other investment that you want to have. Be happy when the prices are low and be upset when the prices are high, especially since we are in more of a recessionary period. It makes more sense now to be hopping into different ventures than it was during the euphoria period of the bull run. And at the top of the market, I was telling everyone on Twitter, take profits. It's just not going to last. Now I want to hop into creating a business. This is something anyone could do. But the thing is, creating a business takes a lot of time and effort, depending on how you scale that is. And this one is the most straightforward. Find an issue or find a problem. And then step two, find a solution. This could be anything from creating a clothing company to creating an NFT project or creating a cryptocurrency or creating an NFT marketplace. The list goes on of things that you could create. Like I said in my last video and the video before that and the video before that, there are always going to be more problems than solutions in any market. All it takes is solving one of those. And if you want, create the project or you could even sell the idea. And this goes back to the networking idea. If you have a lot of these connects that work with a lot of venture capitalists, you have a really cool idea, you want some funding. Pick up the phone, 
and start dialing. Let them know what you're doing. And worst case is they could say no, that's it. And when you're making a business, it might sound all sunshine and rainbows when you quit your job. But at the same time, you're going to be working way longer hours and way more hours because you're going to be doing it for yourself. And the thing is with starting your own business as well, the risk meter goes all the way up, especially when you start to hire people. Because when you're hiring someone to do a job for you, you're paying them to make your dream come true. So when you get a job and you work for someone else, you're essentially just getting compensation for the time that it would have taken for you to build up your dream and instead you're doing it for theirs. And if I had to give you guys one thing to make yourself as successful as possible when working a job either for yourself or another company, that would be consistency. You think people like Mr. Beast got his first million subscribers out of sheer love? He took time and energy into finding out what thumbnails work, what titles work, the content and the structure of his videos. He put tons of time and energy into this, and that is what you would need to do. You think people like Elon Musk as well had as much success by just winging it, and yet you're gonna see people like Lil Tay who just blow up and go do crazy numbers just for flexing fake money in, in houses and stuff, but that doesn't mean it's likely for it to happen to you as well. I believe you'll have a lot of success if you follow what I told you in this video, and thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, as always, smash like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.